I have a feeling my chat box isn't working properly. in a minute. Hey Steven, what's up? Alright, getting back in the game. Ah! So, last time I was in game, we went to the Sasasha Sea Grot dungeon and the Tamtara Tamtara Deep Croft. So now we're going to the dungeon in Uda. Right, let's go. Adjust this a little bit. There we go. Alright, hope I'm not blocking the screen too much. Okay, first things first. Oh yeah, pick up the quest from Mistress Momodi. Hello, darling. Increase my vo my microphone's volume, okay? Okay. My volume is a bit low, huh? Hello. Hey, Knifey. Testing. Oh, this might be a bit testing. Testing. Is this okay? The petitioner ought to arrive at any moment now. God tell mighty, another second under the sun, and I would have been set a set a fire, a tank out of air, would you, if you'd be so kind. Hey, Dion. Excellent timing, Papashan. It just so happens the adventurer who'll be handing your petition will be here. Hello, Papashan. Ah, yes, my good friend, Papashan. Him and his glorious moustache. It does my spirit well to know you are the one who will be helping us. Perhaps you, you like to... You like to appraise Tian of his mission? Oh, you're going for a raid soon, Dion? Well, good luck, good luck. Which raid would you guys be doing, actually? Yes, of course, the petition in question was submitted by an acquaintance of Amaja and Sun's mineral concert. It relates to an unfortunate development at Copper Bell Mines. To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. These giants are of a clan known as the Hackathon Crees, fearsome creatures who are sealed with deep with, within the deepest depths of the mines during the bygone Thorn Dynasty. Alas, okay, you guys will be doing Alexander Epic. Cool. Good luck, good luck. One day I might just raid with you guys, but we'll see. We'll see when I get there. I think it'll take quite a while. Alas, it seems they may have... They have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them, and now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply their trade. The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment. 
at the hands of our ancestors and their presence has forced the suspension of all mining mic activities at on the site. You want to teach me what Final Fantasy XIV toxicity is? Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> no wonder they are angry. Didn't the Thorn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, milady. The people of that age used the Hecaton Crease to, mine, to work their minds. By way of enchanted helms, they were able to bind the ferocious creatures to the will. But as it is, of the way of such tales, these enchantments eventually failed, and the slaves rose up against their masters. You're very nice? Mm, I'm sure you're very nice. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the Hecaton Crease, our ancestors induced the collapse of mines at lowermost level. So it was that the great giant revolt was ended, buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rocks. Well now, it got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about the Copper Bell in the Mithril Eye a fortnight ago. So the Mithril Eye is a newspaper of sorts. It is said that the mines were being reopened to meet rising demand for building material. Like us not, our boys dug a bit too deep and feed the giants. At least it's not a bell rock. Maybe I am a statue of the past avatar. Hmm? Ever thought of that knife easy? <laughs> Gods, to think the poor creatures are kicking and alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a garage. They must be seething. Yeah, okay, so... I suppose, um, regardless of what happens, we just have to kill them all. As it is the case for most MMORPGs, if there's a problem, you just go in and punch everything. As long as your Kung Fu is strong enough, you can do anything, yeah? Okay, so, I got a side quest to go for the S Aesthetician. Alchemist guild. Right this way. Make me the pills of immortality. Just furnish him with a freshest batch of my special creations last week. I realize the man's services are in demand, but it would be physically impossible for him to exhaust the entire supply so soon. Yeah, it's because he lost it. Oh, he's, someone stole it from him. Okay. You see, the man is something of a genius. The genius is often misunderstood by modest minds. Trust me, as I speak from personal, extensive personal experience. Give me a second. Yeah, look at this guy's face. He, Maybe he's another K-pop star. He must be a K-pop star as well. Alright, so um... Great minds must bend together in trying times lest the realm be deprived of our talents. And so I command you to deliver this parcel to Jadalene at all speed. Of the other two masters, this is the only one with glowing review of that weird K-pop guy. Okay. I am level... Level 23, let's go meet Sifu. Uh, okay, which one am I supposed to go to? Fusionist Guild, closest to the Asteroid Plaza, okay. Don't run away! Okay, for a while I thought she actually hurt me. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, let's see here. Okay, I get I will get new new gear. A new jacket. Alright, so the jacket will be the only upgrade. Let's see. Oh. It looks decent. It looks decent. Oh, it's you, Tian. Sorry, but I don't have any Kung Fu to teach you. If I ever did, you at all. Uh, you will fall off training under Zuzu Tou. You will find her over at the yonder. Just leave me be. Oh, poor old man. Poor old man. Hello, Zuzu Tou. I was so hopeful seeing you improve in leaps and bounds. Mm. Perhaps the end result is not so important as the manner in which you get there. In other words, you must if you were to train precisely as Master Harmon once did, overcome the self-same challenges he did in his youth, I dare say it would stroke the fires of his fighting spirit. Listen well, Tian. My master told me that he used to refine his combinations by provoking deadly creatures into unleashing their fury upon him. For this purpose, he would often he often went out to the southern part of Drybone to fight honored clouds there. Like every MMORPG where you just go out and beat like helpless animals. Let's go! Let's go beat up some helpless animals. Alright, so Drybone, where is Drybone? Eastern Thanalan. New place, I've not been there. So the closest closest point would be Blackbrush Station. Ah, uh, screw it, I'm cheap. I don't want to spend money. I'm gonna use the chocobo. Adam Reinhardt. Hi. Chocobo Porter? Wait, no. Wait, it, am I rent the Chocobo or Chocobo Porter? Okay, I guess it's Chocobo Porter. Hi, Chocobo Porter. Black Brush Station. Alright, good luck on your raid. So cute. Black brush station, and then I'll run over this way. Alright. Let's go, Pako. Pako. Pako, yeah. Oh, they're ants there. I'll run around. Oh, nice. My level is high enough not to aggro these guys. Sweet. join in. Oh never mind, I'm a bit late. Oh well. Gandalf! It's Gandalf! With Frontier all over in the white. It's Gandalf! <laughs> Look at this guy. Gandalf the White. <laughs> Tell me, where is Gandalf for a much desire to speak with him? Mm. 
now I'm in Eastern Tanalan. Alright, so I need to... Oh, nice, nice. Hunting logs. Tuko, tuko. Four of them. Punch, punch, punch. Punch. Punch, punch. Tragus Nanny, Blowfly Swarm, Vandalus Imp, Rotting Corpse and Rotting Nobles. Okay. Oh shit, there's a, there's, a, there's a settlement there. I should go touch the crystal and talk to the Choco Keep. Parkour! The Choco Keep, Choco Keep stops the. Ah, oh, shit, I should have jumped on so fast. Yeah, my stupid parkour. Alright, Choco Keep. Thank you. Now, to go punch those flies. After that, I'll teleport to the Copper Bell Mines. Yeah, parkour. Parkour. Okay, there's, there's a fate over there. Okay. What's... What? One minute. Probably won't succeed, but I'll get some XP out of it, I suppose. Ah, uh, uh, Malja. Oh, 
Okay, he nailed it. Where did the Gila monster come from? Gila. Okay. Now I'll speak to Painted Mesa at Copper Bell Mines. Which is. Is this Copper Bell Mines? No, that's not it. Okay, Copper Bell Mines is all the way in West Untanalan. Okay, teleporting there. Okay. Just a little short hop over and then it's Copper Bell Mines time. I'm gonna fight some Hackathon Crease, clear out the mines, head back to Sufu in Luda. Ah. Hello. Can I jump over this? Yeah, parkour. This person's name is Rest in Peace. Okay, very creative. Very creative. Alright, so I'm supposed to talk. Wait a second. I'm supposed to talk to Painted Mesa. Who? Where is Painted Mesa? Wait a second. Oh my god, Painted Mesa is all the way back in Uda. I came here too early. Shit. Since I'm really back, I might as well just go talk to Sufu Hamon first. Once I talk to Sufu Hamon, then I go find um Oh, what is this? Well he youth. It could happen to you. I'll talk I have no idea what that is, I'll talk to this person later. Blue means functional quest that gives me new functions. So it seems important. Can't you leave a feeble old man in peace? Alright. The Foulless Balls. These are Hornet Stingers. You train as I once did out in the dry bones. These Hornet Clouds were right pesky buggers. I lost a fair count how many times they stung me. Do I remember places well enough? Ah, you got, you got stung in the butt. You got stung in the butt. The memories of my younger days are coming back. What I wouldn't give to relieve them. Kid, I want you to fight me right here, right now. I'm gonna beat you. How many times must I teach you this lesson, old man? Alright. Violence against elderly, let's go. Let's go. Violence against the elderly. Oh. I'm pretty sure this round will be quite easy as well. Returns. He's now level 8. If only leveling up was this easy, he's skipping levels. Is 
higher than it was just now. Taking a little longer to get it. Oh shit! Give me more! Yep, this guy's messages. I uh, feel so alive and then he dies. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've beat up elderly people, let's go beat up children. Oh wow, he leveled up again. Hahaha, ha, ha, gods, I haven't felt this invigorated since forever. When I'm fighting you, it's as if I'm it's as though I'm fighting my younger self. Perhaps there's still hope for these old bones. I might make my comeback yet, see if I don't. Gahaha, <laughs> what are you doing here, old man? Learning how to walk? The music changes. It's more ominous. You have a big guy in armor. You're Wegfar Wild Axe. White Axe. Wegfar White Axe. His, his axe is pretty wide. Ain't none caught me that in ages. Nay, not since the day ye defeated me on the Blood Sands. I gave up prize fighting after that humiliation, but it weren't long till I found a place in the Alacrin. Your boy Rurukuta works for me now. Imagine me surprised when I find he used to train under the mighty Holy Fist. Traitor! Sasuke! Kono! But Holy Fist ain't nothing but a name these days, so I'm told. How do you sleep at night, knowing how flaccid you have become? He's just old, man. Just give him some Viagra and he'll be fine. Of course, if you had trouble nodding off, you could always pry a whiff of Somnus. That's, uh, that's heroin, yeah. I'll even give you a complimentary sample. But like as not, a doddering old sort like you won't ever wake up again. This is why don't do drugs, kids. And don't do drugs as well if you're not a kid. Just don't do drugs. Shut your mouth, Wake Fire, I'll shut it for you. Now, now, let's be civilized for a moment. We're old friends after all, and old friends help each other out. You mentioned making a comeback just now. If you're serious, I'd be glad to lend a helping hand. Mm. By the way uh, of motivating you, how about we have a rematch? Mm. Okay, the winner gets the pugilist skill. What, that's ridiculous, Master. You're not obligated to take him up on this. Ah, uh, this must be the, your little nursemaid. Rest assured, after I've taken over, I'll keep her on as me personal assistant. Ha 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 ha. she make a good paperweight. Do you really mean to fight him? Have no fear, Juju To. Master? Sifu. Tian, I do not mean to put undue pressure on you. But the fate of the guild rests on my shoulders. <laughs> Listen to me, Tsuzuho. I know I can do this. I just need Tian to keep getting stronger as he's been doing. Finding him reminds me of who I used to be. I'm confident I can be that man again. <laughs> yes. Like every guild master. Just leave it to everyone else to do your work. Alright, new jacket. Okay, the next quest will be at level 25. Okay, so let's put on this weapon. New weapon is always good. More damage, more damage. Uh, new jacket. Yeah, here it is. Nice. Nice, I look, I look cute. Perfect, perfect. So now that I'm done with this, I can head over to the quicksand. I head to the quicksand, pick, talk to Painted Mesa, and head over to um, head over to the Copper Bell Mines. Painted Mesa, you found him. The adventurer who's volunteered to, vent 
to deal with the mess down the copper bell. You got guts, mate. I just hope you got the skills to go with them too. Cause it ain't pretty down there. The Hecaton Crease has left the place right in the right state. There we are a week after mining has resumed. I don't know if you know this, but Copper Bell Mo and this Copper Bell Copper Bell was old when the second Wu Dynasty was still young. It was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the shortage of materials needed for the rebuilding effort, Concern would never have reopened it. We knew well beforehand, we knew about the giants well beforehand. But the project went ahead. I mean, nothing could possibly survive being buried under a mountain worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong. Our miners dug up more than they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe, too many, and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glorious recovery will grind to a halt. The stone torturers keeping watch over the entrance, in case a giant fancy for some sunlight and fresh air. Alright. So let's just head over there and kill some giants. possible to play this game in first person. Huh. It's a different experience playing this game from first person. I'm already here. Should head over here and pick up. Yeah, pick up blue quest over here. Time is six minutes, that's not too bad. Decent name, I guess. Looks pretty legit for a new adventurer. I 
At least the clown suits in this game don't look that clownish. It still looks pretty decently pieced together. Man, look at those mismatched colors. Color my world. Soigrim wants to show me a whole new world of colors. You there, yes. You decisively unfashionable adventure. No, you bitch. Gods be good. Never in my life have I seen such an unapologetic focus on extreme cost to form. I make your eyes bleed. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll poke, I can poke my fingers into your eyes to make your eyes bleed. I'll teach you about dyeing your outfit, but first I must have a drink. The heat has given me a vicious thirst. I won't be able to talk for a length of time. Would you be a dear? Oh, for what I thought you were pointing the wrong finger, woman. Buy a bottle of orange juice. Okay, fine, fine. Call me unfashionable and tell me to buy you a cup of orange juice. You lucky you're a quest giver. Where's the orange shoes? Oh, there it is. Hup, parkour. Yes, I have your bottle of orange shoes. Tell you how to bring color into your life. Listen well. They're hardly yet. They're handy items called colorants. Okay. Garish pick. Oh. I'm now able to die items. Gear dying is now available. Okay, cool. Oh, I can die furniture as well. Oh. Oh. Die can be removed using an item called Terrabin. Okay, okay. Dear dear, this will never do. My sense of aesthetics simply won't allow it. How can you go out dressed like that? If only you spare a thought for style and coordination, I hope your garb holds up during your scuffle, because there is little else going for it. So she calls me a fashion disaster. Go to the pissed heist. Ask foresight. She now wants blood orange juice. Okay. Shh, this woman really loves her orange juice. Oh. Hey cutie. Alright, so I got her blood orange juice. Alright woman. One in a clown suit with mismatched colors. Whoa, whoa, chill, woman, chill. It's just orange juice. What the hell? Apply glamour. What is a glamour, you may ask? Use a glamour prism to, as a catalyst. What the fuck? That was the. That's the bad wing that just flew in. What the hell? Holy shit. Cool. Alright, uh, you use glamour as a catalyst to project the image of one item onto another. Alright, so... Dresses in in room are now available. You may use dresses to transform items into glamour and create the zombos for quick and easy use. So 
I'm a cast glamour using glamour prisms. Glamour items cannot be sold or traded. Okay, glamour dresses. So if I put a gear into the dresser, it immediately transforms into a glamour, which I can cast onto. Oh, okay, okay. So which I can cast onto gear that I want to wear. All right, all right. That makes sense. Oh, and there's a choco keep here. Awesome. All right, I've been waiting for eight minutes. Average wait time is six minutes. That means the dungeon should pop at any time now. Any time now. Yeah, let's see, I'll obtain a green beret. Yeah, but it sucks. Let's see how it looks. Nah, nah, I prefer my goggles. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Bell Mines, third dungeon. Holding aggro. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is quite sad. This is quite sad. Do your best. Do your best, tank. Um, tank. Yeah. 
Archer is getting all the aggro. That is just... Oh man. This is depressing actually. Don't need that. 
And that's it. Magician's earring. I don't need that either. Give me everything I don't need. That's one of that. Oh, oh well. His armor looks pretty really badass. Gotta admit. in this. Ooh. I guess I could use that. No, I really put I really have one. Oh well. That's a big slime. Uh, so many dresses. 
Stop giving me dresses for for spell truckers. I'm not a spell trucker. This looks like the last boss. I do not need. 
Alright, good, good. This quest is done. So now I'm just gonna turn it... Oh, where do I turn it in? Oh, okay, turn it in back in Wuda. Okay, good. Okay, teleporting back to Wuda. Okay, since you're here, can you tell me exactly what does this quest give me? I, I wonder what this quest gives me. While, while you answer that, I will just... Oh, I do get an orchestral roll. So what do I do? Faded copy of the orchestral roll. So... Do... Am I, am I, what do I do with this? Oh, so this takes me to the gold saucer. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Right, I do get a new body armor. Ooh, ooh, this looks nice. Looks sexy. I like. So it's crafting materials. All right, so I just keep that somewhere. I could... Okay, okay. Oh, so like because I did not get the orchestral roll, they gave me a little token that I can use to get the orchestral roll next time. That's how it works, right? All right. Hello, painted mesa. Ah, the Conqueror of Copper Bell returns. Thanks to you, our mining operations can return, can resume, and Uda will have the material she needs to rebuild. The entire nation is in your debt, friend. I shall share the good tidings with Papa Shan next time I see him. As for you, you want to report to Momodi. It will do the woman well to see you alive and in one piece. Of course. Of course. My good friend Momodi. Oh, a scream. Oh, would you look at that? A pompadour with a scar. And a pinot stash. He's clearly from the Yakuza. Please, sir, I didn't mean I didn't steal nothing. I I bought this, paid for it with me coin. What rot, you refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford Hey, hey, don't don't piss don't piss on wild refugees. Give back what you stole, or I'll make make you wish you never set foot in town. Should turn you over to the brass blades. Help keep the streets safe for law abiding citizens. Sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, look at how he like wiggles and like do that slight pelvic thrust while he's laughing. What? <laughs> oh, is everyone gonna run away? Of course she looks at me. The one guy who looks like he's geared for combat. She just wants to treat the children with a nice... Oh, what is that? <laughs> Who the hell are you when you're at home to this dog's master? I'm a cat! Not a dog! What the fuck? You guys are blind. I'll deal with you people for tell for calling me a dog. I'm a cat! I'm a cat!
is weak. Oh, he's calling friends. I know I'm supposed to kill a healer first, but I was giving you a cinematic um, view of you, so like I didn't see the healer. <laughs> I was just giving you a show. Thank you, kind adventurers. Thank you, tree. Thank you, trice over. All right. Would you like me to buy you? Oh, no, I'm gonna faint again. Am I not? This is what happens when you don't stay hydrated in the in, uh, in the desert. Hydration very important. <sighs> uh, okay, I swear there were more refugees when last I looked. Yeah, that was before Shadowlands 9.1 came out. So the first wave of refugees came when Battle for Azeroth was going on, so everyone were war refugees. Then because Shadowlands 9.1 was a disappointment, everyone there's a second wave because everyone is dead and dying. But the calamity affects the whole realm, didn't it? Yeah, the cataclysm was pretty bad. If the top was true, yes. Perhaps the situation is more pronounced. Wuda has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them. It truly does. But I wouldn't be lie. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't foment lawlessness in the city. All right, my fellow wild refugees, please don't be toxic. <laughs> Heroes who fought the Guardian Empires patrolling the streets for Riff Raff? It may well come to that. Yeah, the BGM in this game is really good. Like, it's thematic and like, um, different music plays at different points of the game. And it just works. It just works. Oh, there the pretty girl is. She did buy her stuff. I have heard some of the BGM for, um, like, uh, what do you call that? Boss fights? Yeah. BGM for boss fights are really, really good. So, like, I can't wait to actually experience- Oh, I didn't faint! I'm still standing! <laughs> do I mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? Yes. Yes, I'm going to threaten a defenseless citizen. I, as did I, leave the poor woman alone, you damnable voucher. Who said that? Girl, I will overlook this, but just this once. I'm pretty sure I'll see him again. That guy looks like a... Typical bad guy from like a weekly, weekly cartoon. You know, kind of like a bulk and skull kind of character in um, Power Rangers. God bless you, adventurer. If you haven't come alone, who knows what the monster might have done? I don't, I don't bear thinking about it. <clears throat> I mean. Yes, the crowd heckles once the fight is done, right? All wells and ends well. You little bitch, you didn't come to help! Pray do not mistake my intent, for it is always honourable. Yeah, it's because I'm a guy. If I'm a girl, it wouldn't be honourable, right? Playboy. 
You've been watching me ever since he departed Uda. Hmm. Hmm, stalker. Stalker. You, my friend, are quite a marvel and confess to being in somewhat in awe of you. My lavish praise continue. You know, you don't need to praise me so much, just give me money. All leads me to conclude you are indeed the one I have been looking for, an adventurer possessed by a very rare set of qualities. To be sure, your rescue of the damsel in distress was more than a happy accident, but your rescue of her... But rescue her you did, and that's what mattered in the end. I mean, she looked at me, so... You know. I feel I should mention, at this point, I also harbour a burning interest in a certain talent of yours. I speak of your visions. You have been experiencing visions, have you not? Yes. Crystal Math does that. Just so happens I know a woman who shares your talent and we we, uh, we can help you understand that she and I belong to the same organization and we would, should both be delighted beyond words if you agree to join our cause. So she does math too? Naturally, there are benefits to being part of such a collective. For one, we should be glad to assist you in realizing your potential as an adventurer. Ah, uh, is this multi-level marketing? It sounds like multi-level marketing. What what is that? What is that 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 really hype uh, MLM called again? Bitconnect. Oh, no, that that's a crypto thing. But it's still the same thing. Bitconnect. You do not need to give me your answer now. Think about it. And if you feel moved to help us, prayers, I pray you shall speak with Momodi, the ever-lovely youthful mistress of the quicksand. Okay, we are in agreement with that. We are in agreement. Tell her the science of the Seven Dawn has found your man and she will tell you where to find us. BitConnect! Science of the BitConnect! Seems like this is becoming ever call more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry though, blah blah blah. It's exactly the same line she told me! That little bitch, you cheating what? You cheat! I'm sure you tell that to all the young boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, tell, you tell that to all the new, new adventurers. Oh. Thank you for sparing your time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while. My name is Edda, I'm an adventurer like you. Though you didn't take the arrow to the knee. No, though I'm not very good at being one, truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. His name was Avir. From the last episode, he and I were to wed in spring. You may not remember him, but he said he remembered you. But to say he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing you your praises from dawn to dusk. When he saw you for what you are, an adventurous adventurer, so that he would be like me today, okay? I believe he would have succeeded, had a fiend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I have long, I have thought long and hard about giving up, an uh, giving up adventuring. But when I think of the man you are, of all you have achieved, I find that I am inspired, just as Evia once was. So I've decided to begin again, start again as an adventurer. I'll go back to my village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I want to meet you first to ask your name. Tian, I shall not forget. Thank you, Tian. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. RIP! Adventuring can be cruel business. Time wars. I don't know why anyone would bother. But when they first asked me to take charge of the guild, I didn't want to do with uh, I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Thought it would be a pain in the ass looking after you all. But against my brother judgment, I've decided to accept the post. And I'm glad I did. 
I feel privileged to be a part of your lives. Okay, that's a that's a huge change of tone. What did you say? You want to know about science at the Seven Dawn? The beginning you move in earnest then. Listen here, and the Scions aren't ordinary folks. The work they do ain't ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attending to some of the stuff they do. Knowing that you're still certain you wanna get involved, I'll tell you what you can I'll tell you what I can. Yeah, I remember her. She was um so there were a bunch of uh, NPC adventurers that hung out outside the dungeons. Uh, the first two, yeah, the first two dungeons. So the first one was uh, that party. There was one with Dolorous Bear. Uh, he has a cat girl and uh, uh, I think an elf girl with him. And then there were two elves, the grandpa and the granddaughter. And like there was that one, the party. Um, What's her name again? I forgot her name. Shit, I forgot her name. Uh, yeah, that, that healer girl and uh, her her boyfriend, that's Avir, the leader of their party. And then they had, I think, an elf and a Lala fell. Yeah, yeah, I was complaining about that because um, every, when, when I played World of Warcraft uh, and do Mythic Plus dungeons all the time, like, there would be tanks that were really overconfident and they would make giant ass pulls before the healer was ready. It would be, it'd be like the healer would be. Yeah, and her buddy member griffed her, that's right. But, like, usually it's the tank's fault, not the healer's fault. Like, the healer might be. The healer might just be um, drinking to recover mana and stuff, and then the tank just runs off. I mean, there are some tanks with really powerful self heals and sustain, but, like,. If you're gonna make giant ass pools with the healer not available, then that is a stupid idea. I know, I know at the time, um, especially for Mythic Plus and WoW, sometimes, uh, oh look, it's Chairman Meowth again. Ha. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, um, sometimes because Mythic Plus is, uh, what do you call it? It's a time trial, so like. You're on the clock, so some tanks are just tempted to just make that giant rush. Yeah, so like, because th the tanks make that giant rush when the healers aren't ready. Some it's, sometimes it's just a lack of communication, but not everyone wants to be in voice comm, and usually I don't. But sometimes you just need to um, just have that intuitive feel for the rest of your party to know whether they're ready or not. It's, it comes with experience, I guess. Anyway, let's continue. So you want to know more, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise? I swear if I painted certain death in one door and limited wealth on the other, nine, of, 9 out of 10 adventurers will go through the first, and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of them being done. Yeah, don't be stupid. Choose limitless wealth. Limitless wealth, duh. Once you have limitless wealth, then you can go enjoy your time and then go find certain death. Alright? Just be smart about it. Be smart about it. First of all, if you're wondering if you can trust the Scions of the Seven Dawn, you can. They are good people who have made their mission to solve some of Eosia's most pressing problems. Cause, that ain't a small task, so they're always looking for dependable, independ uh, dependable individuals like you to join them. I've been given leave to tell you where to find the Dawns, the Scions. But you must promise to keep this information to yourself, as you can probably imagine. This is something Eosia's enemies would like very much to know. The Scions are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in Western Talalan. The place you're looking for is called the Waking Sands. Give your name to whoever's in the entrance, and you'll be let in. You are a man in demand, Tian. The days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget your old friend Momodi. Drop in, and tell me how you're faring from time to time. Of course! Of course! I'm sure I'll be dropping by. You cheat. You you may be a cheat. And you say the same things to all the boys. But you're cute and I'll be back. I'll be back. I mean this is one of the nice taverns after all. Like, look at this, it's so nice. Alright. First things first, let's go talk to Sifu.
I sound like a jilted lover. Oh, she, she, Momoji was Momoji tells that to, tells says nice things to all the boys. Oh look, okay. Look at this. Okay. So which one gives me the Oh I do need to upgrade my pants quite bad. Yeah. Wow. Plus eleven plus eleven. That's a big stat difference. But does it look good though? Oh good. This this looks decent. It looks like a decent pair of pants. How does it look? With the rest of my gear. Oh no, that is awful. That looks awful. Red and green don't go well together. Shit. Oh wait, I, I do have dyes, right? Yes, I have dyes. Okay, I could dye it. I could dye it. I'm gonna, gonna pick that up and then I'm gonna dye it. Ha ha ha, I swear each time I look at you, you remind me more and more like my younger self. At this rate, you, you're the... You're like to transform... You're like to transform into a handsome devil before the moon's over. I already am a handsome devil. Now then, if you're here to learn, unfortunately I'm in no condition to teach. It's rather embarrassing to, to admit, but my eagerness to prepare for the big rematch, I've overtrained and thrown my back out. Yeah, this is why you learn Tai Chi, info. Learn Tai Chi. Stop doing boxing, learn Tai Chi. I, I grant the Tai Chi probably won't do much against a big powerful opponent but like it's better for your health oh yes yes i assume i i unlock dying and uh glamorous at the at vesper bay while waiting for uh my queue at copper bio mine uh, let us speak to your lesson when you ready come meet me at little alamigo okay where the heck is little alamigo Been there yet? Number twenty-five. Yeah, I, I think I'll go meet the scions of the Seven Dawn first. Cloudy night tonight. Look at that. There was all clear night and stars the last time. Now it's all clouds. You still look like a mess. How dare you call me unfashionable? Parkour. Parkour. Hello there. Oh, she looks like Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. Thank you not to sneak up on me like that. 
Now please be advised this is private property. Unless you have put in on business here, I must ask you to. You're here on the behest of Tancred. My sincerest apology, may I have your name? Tian Tian Utasum. Utasum. Um, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Scions of the Seven Dawn. My name is Tataru and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. The antecedent is within the solar. I shall like, I shall let her know to expect you. She's, she's cute. Is there a command to pet someone? Like, what's the emote command to pet someone on the head? Oh, P E T. Okay, let's 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 pet let's pet other room. No 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 not 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 rub my hand in her face. Okay, okay, let, let's just try that again. Let's try that again. It's just rubbing my hand in her face. Um, ah, there we go. Okay, that works. Just walk in and slap my hand into her face and just rub it all over. <laughs> Where is... Can I go in through this door? No. Can I go in through this door? Ah, there are people here. Twin tails. And this didn't make me an offer I couldn't refuse. Say that if I join, I get to fight primals and imperials both to my heart's content. I, I know I could get that by enlisting one of the grand companies, but I've never been partial to Saludin, if you know what I mean. Make sense? I had a dream unlike any other, I was myself, and then I became something more. When I spoke to the others, they directed me here. Did you have one too? Oh, he was dreaming as well. So he does crystal math. The receptionist is something else. Did you perchance notice how small she's written? Y yes, I actually noticed that. Like. No, I, I, I thought it was just like foggy as heck. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Lousy gloves. Okay, do they look good though? No, they look horrible. Okay, I'm taking. I'm just taking uh, money. So you are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minpilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Hello. Good to meet everyone. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. Huh. Huh. Madam Infilia, are you sure the HR department permits that as, like, office attire? <laughs> Milfilia. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't call her a milf. She looks pretty young. Now please be at ease, you're among friends here, okay? Yeah, stalker. Don't look at me. <laughs> no doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. 
Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Outer Heaven. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea. Nay, the world at large. And we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Alright, I, I, I see what they did there. The godlike beings known as the Primals. Yeah, so like, for those who know, and those who don't know, the guy, the, the, the developers, have a band called the Primals. So they are calling themselves godlike. I see. I see. Mm, okay. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Yes. Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space? A mind without a body? Yes, yes, yes. All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. Is that what we call smoking weed now? So, um, I'm pretty sure Snoop Dogg has the Echo as well. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. Oh no, now this is Joe Rogan time. This is Joe Rogan time. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. Alright, Mephilia, we're walking right into Alex Jones' territory here. I need you to stop. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. The lizard people, tinfoil hat, guys, tinfoil short, hat. the Echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. Uh, okay, so, so, we are, we are, we are talking, um... The Force. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. Because it's illegal. That's right. I too possess the Echo. Smoke weed. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. That is true because... If the realm steps towards true peace, there will be no content, so the primals will keep making content for us. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Okay. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Well, the reason why I came to Eorzea is because I'm sick and tired of grinding Soul Dash and Soul Cinders and Torghast. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary if not to have him use it? True. And so I implore you, Lend us your power. I will not lend it so much as make it a loan with high interest rates. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. Good. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies and a word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied to you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied on to manage your assets and belongings on my behalf. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was an ominous entrance. You get that back shot, and then now, papers requested, my lady. I'm calling it now. Tataru is the great uh, BBEG, the big bad evil. Because she delivers paperwork. Evil paperwork. Uh, 
pleasures mine, my lady. The evil deliverer of paperwork. Dun dun dun. By way of a welcoming gift, I've taken the liberty of adding your name to a retainer's registry. And now you're entitled to employ the retain the services of a retainer. You'll need to consult a retainer advocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement. But believe me, when I say retainers will prove most invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Let these gestures serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate my personal objectives. Alright, so what is my personal objectives? Step 1, master Kung Fu. Step 2, learn the way of the sword. Step 3, accumulate a harem of cute uh, cute cat girls. And no, 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 just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yes, I can now end higher indentured servants. I have SLAVES! Nah, indentured servants, yes. A mutually beneficial relationship, I'm sure you agree. One which serves the greater good. Besides, it is a variable lecture, is it not? Forgive me, but it is important that you all are concerned, are aware of what is expected of them. I still do not know what you expect of me, Minfilia. Now that you know our purpose, um, basically you want me to kill bosses, I suppose. I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members use to reach one another on the field. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. Wild Rose. Bing! Retainers now available. Let's talk to everyone first. Hello. This place is making sense. It used to be called something else. But a bunch of things happened and we ended up here instead. Okay. Look at this one with the monocle. Or there are others here that possess the echo. None are nearly as strong as yours. Yes. Yes. Seven waning moons. C7 suns rise. Divine order rules. Fallen corpse rife. Thus, the divine chronicles seek to warn us once more. The meaning of these words now shines clear. They evoke the dire circumstance of this imperiled age. The realm doth shudder and twist, and dawn leaf cowering neath the stifling blanket of night. And here we abide. We await the coming of the unborn era seed. The light shall pierce the glowing darkness. Alright, Shakespeare. No, I'll talk to you last. Our organization, the Silence of the Seven Dawn, are formed through the union of two separate entities. The first comprised of Shalayan natives, such as myself, and was called the Circle of Knowing. The second was made up of individuals that share a rare gift, known as the Path of the Twelve. The terrible events that ushered in the Seven Umbra era taught us that only together may we stand against the evil that seeks to consume us. Cool! You're the only one that gave me useful information! Summoning a primal is no small feat. It requires tremendous concentration of aether. That's why beast tribes go to great length to obtain crystals. Once they manifest in physical form, their unquenchable thirst for aether only grows stronger. They will drink the land dry, narrow your thought, to the consequence. Considering their fearsome strength, it could be well within their ability to do so. It is for this reason we must do our utmost to oppose them. You could have told me this when we first met. Alright, in failure. We Scions have but one objective, to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not of what you desire for yourself, nor what first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Tian. I take it you will help us. The only way to progress the quest. Wonderful! I knew you wouldn't let us down. 
But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? I have no idea it what that means. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. Mm -hmm. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Mm -hmm. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Power overwhelming. Those same brave souls stand before you now. So are you all Archons? The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Hello there! Hello there! Welcome! <gasps> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. Yeah, I know this guy. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Stalker of women and cat boys. Welcome to the team. And very, very British. I never doubted that you'd come. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. My fellow cat. Greetings. Hello. Last but not least is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Orianger. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. Shakespeare. The words of a dear friend. I'm glad of our meeting. <laughs> the way Minfilia looked at him. At the Battle of Cartano, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Look at her standing Please ominously to make behind your me. Acquaintance. She's just standing ominously behind me, just staring at us. <laughs> yes, yes. I will deliver you more paperwork. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Okie dokie. Orianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. Okay. You have my thanks. You're welcome. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. I don't really want to talk to him, but if I have to. Ever at your service, dear fellow. Look at his smug face. 
just want to slap it. I just want to slap this guy. you will come to understand the nature of our struggle with the primals. The realm may appear well on its way to recovery, but reality paints a far bigger picture. The truth is out there. Alright, Asian, Mo uh, Asian Scully. The truth is out there indeed. No, oh, everyone is left. Okay. Alright, Tank Brit. Ready to begin? Yep, let's go. Crimes which we believe are connected. So assuming we are correct, it is like any discovery we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Since the attack on the caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sun's mineral concern have doubled security over all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that abductions should be our priority. According to our preliminary finding, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybones. Alright, let's go to Camp Drybones. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as a camp de facto leader. Pay him a visit. See that he gives his gives us his full cooperation. All right. Oh, isn't this quest nearby? No, wait, which one is Camp Drybones? No, Camp Drybones is in Eastern Tanalan. Alright, so over here, then maybe once I'm done with this, I can go down to Southern Tanalan and do my my pugilist quest. Alright. That's... Ah, you stole us over here. Hello. She's saying the same thing as she did just now. Oh, hey there. Good to see you again. Everyone's just hanging out. Okay, this tree were here just now. This guy's new. This girl was twin tails is over here. I've not seen I did not see this girl just now. Why don't these blokes I am, I swear I was one of them Scions of the Seven Dawn. Only we did not have such a fancy name back then and the headquarters was in a far more convenient location. Or at least I think it was, or is my mind playing tricks on me? God, what's wrong with me? Why can't I remember it more clearly? I have a feeling everyone in the Scions like smoke way too much weed. But then again, I shouldn't say much. My memory is shit as well, so like maybe I smoke too much weed. <laughs> Hello, Tataru. Let's look at how tiny she is compared to the chair. No wonder she's standing on it like that the whole time. She looks, she reminds me of one of those prairie dogs, you know, or the meerkats. Just standing there. <laughs> adorable. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, so this goes to the Limstar Lominsa directly. Tata. So, any relations with Tataru? <laughs> oh, this goes straight to Limsa. Oh, I can go to Limsa from here and like deliver the supplies to um to the SS. To the to the, the, the K-pop star. Ooh, I'm on a ship. Meerkat minion in game. I'm sure I'll find one eventually. But 
this is a really chunky looking fairy ship. Fairy? They call it a fairy. It's really chunky looking. Assistition. The assistition is all the way up here. So I'm over here. Can I go upstairs from here? I don't think so. I, I guess I'll teleport to the F castle. K-pop guy is over here, so I can finally turn in the quest to this guy. Whoa, whoa, chill, dude! This could be it. Yes, I feel it. The light returns to my eyes. Power pulses through my fingers. I live! What the f... Chill, dude! Whoa! Okay... What the hell? As I live, this unspeakable embodiment of ugliness must die. Be gone, foul demon. Uh... Huh? Oh my god! Oh my god, what? How do you transform her hair with scissors and comb? Like, you change her cut the hair color with And then you add a beauty mark on her cheeks. Do you just cut her cheeks to make that butterfly? Okay, what the fuck was that? So I can call upon his services to my in room. From a hairstyle to color to face paint, he can create a new look for a mere 2000 gil. Whenever you feel like the change. I am not calling that guy into my in room. What the fuck? Yeah, okay, I'm 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 going I'm I'm going away now. Bye bye. Bye bye Limsa. What the fuck was that? No, I'm done, I'm done, bye.
have the chocobo path to camp dry bones. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad he didn't cut me or anything. That guy was weird. Okay, I think I need a short break. I don't know, like that was that was weird as fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna go get like some snacks or something. I I need maybe ice cream. I, I think I need ice cream after that. Yeah, fuck K-pop. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, probably about five, 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 ten-ish minutes.
I'm back. Oh, I'm back. The horror. The horror. The horror of K-pop. Horror of the jo the Jojo K-pop character. What the hell was that? Can't wait for me to meet Hildebrand if Chandelier gets me that bad. I've heard a bit of Hildebrand. Haven't really met him. We shall see. We shall see. Let's just get back into it. Okay. Alright. Now that I'm in Camp Drybones, let's start. Let's, let's find Isabel. Is Isambard. Let's go find Isambard. Parkour! Yeah! Parkour! I'm a parkour master. Yeah, okay. Hey there. Hello, old man. Yes, I'm looking for the missing folk. She warned us to be wary of the, Ama the Amaja. It seems like we know who the culprit is, yes. There's no official title in this camp, but people come to look to him for leadership. Seems like a reliable guy. Oh, belt. All of them look like crap. So I guess that gold then. Let's get right to it. I mean, Philia names the Amaja culprits in all this. You do well to investigate them first. Okay. Much harm has been levied on these lands by the Amajas. The flame burn where they might. Their light cannot stay the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders at the Murders of callers at Church of St. Adama Lam Ad the St. Adama Landama. Adama Landama. Innocents wishing no more than to pay their respects to their dead. Poor souls deserve a proper burial. Alright. So, I'm going to look for dead bodies of people who were killed by the Amanja and then bring them to the church to be buried, I suppose. Alright, let's begin. Oh, a fellow cat man. Is he a cat man? Yeah, he is a cat guy. He has a tail. It's a paladin. Crimson Crow. You're a cat, not a crow. Alright. So I'm so, Okay, so I'll head down here. Oh, wait, wait. Have I touched the crystal yet? Yeah, I have. Okay. So how do I head up? I'm gonna make a round over here. Kurenai Mori. Right corpses. Okay, there it is. Oh, this caravan has been totally toppled. Hello there. I'm gonna punch these big lizard guys. Turn the dead bodies to Isambard. Alright, let's see how... Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. Good to see you've returned. Were you able to secure the remains of the Fallen? Yep. 
This poor soul appears to have been ravaged by an Amaja before sitting to rot several turns of the sun. So those corpses have been there for a few days? Come on. With the bodies given... The bodies given, uh, given back proper to the earth, the souls will find their way to the other side. Okay. What about Amaja? Do you see any? Yeah, I saw two of them. Punch them to death. So they were Amaja remaining after all. Their part in the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed. I sense there's more that meets the eye because they are Decepticons. The re occasional Amaja raiding party will not account for people going missing in this kind of numbers. Total is too great. Question too many. It would not surprise me to learn... least learn of another hand in this. Hmm. But who? Good question, but who? So we turn to the common folk themselves. Yeah, a merchant by the name of Angus was born here in Drybone, grew up in the Gold Bazaar. Rough character, knows the people around here. But he's at the inn, quaffing away a day's earning. Okay. Makes sense. When you need information, always go to the bar. Oh shit, it's this guy! <laughs> Saturday morning anime villain. Dear friend, missing people. Yeah, you're drunk as heck, dude. If anything, they'll be even more timid than before with all the dispense. You will talk to yourself if you don't believe me. I come here to ask you questions, and you tell me to talk to everyone else. Okay, fine, fine. Be that way. Should have punched your face in the last time I met. Hungry beggar, please leave me be. And he walks away. Okay. Nothing to say. Tower takes who? Or whatever that has been feeding us off. Okay. This guy is just unhappy about being preyed upon. Understood, understood. What do you want from me? I don't know anything. Please don't kill me. Oh, they're all scared as heck. So, what now, brown cow? Yes, as I told you, wasn't it? A whole lot of them are terrified. Yeah, I know. Talks of folk being adopted, and he asked me. Simply up and move to a better place. This place isn't close to the soul, if you know what I'm saying. How helpful. Alright, Isambard. Alright, big guy. Dark Potato. <laughs> this guy's name is Dark Potato. It does Holy shit, he really is a dark potato. Not just dark, but emo as well. <laughs> Welcome back. Have I learned anything of importance? Absolutely not. Another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious beliefs. Perhaps if they speak freely to their gods, then the clergy may know of something. That makes sense. Talk to the priests. Yeah, I have a better helmet already. Cotton Akaton. Ew, no, so ugly. What if we know the common folk speak to their gods? We have no better place to ask than the church of Saint Amada Lamada. Okay. Hmm. This ice cream is really helping me get over the K-pop star. Mm. Mm. Seek out a man named Maki. Tends of Graves, okay. Is that a motorbike? That was a motorbike. Cool. 
I want one eventually. Oh, bro! Nice, nice. I can I can clear clear my 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 hunting locks. Yes, punching flies seems like a very effective way to um, to get rid of uh, insects. My kung fu so strong, I can punch flies. Wow, look at my chi. Such powerful chi. Wow. This kung fu so strong. The ability to punch flies. Nice. So the rest is Miltragus Nanny, Vanderus Imp, and Rotting Corpses and Orbos. I guess I'll find them eventually. Yes, I am a key of Okay, I will like I saw this a place of burial, an empty grave on top of the ridge. Take the path, lay him the rest there. I thought you were the one who was supposed to do it. I didn't sign up for burying corpses. I I only signed up for bringing the corpses here. Right, how do I go up there? So it's it's up there. Oh, okay. There's a path this way. Mm, no. Wait a second. Oh, I, I have to go around this way. Okay. Wait, you have to buy the motorcycle from the online store? Wait, wait a second. Okay, it's up. Okay, it's up this way. Oh! Oh, okay, I didn't see this, uh, this part over here. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Poor guy. Well, okay, that's one way to bury a body. Just stack rocks on his face. May they all walk in Thal's realm. Missing people? He can't help me. Sister Orson. Sister Orson can help me. Okay. I'll talk to Sister Orson then. Ah, there you are, Sister Orson. Sick knowledge of the missing Drybone inhabitants. It's true I'm closer to the people than any of the Order. I confide conf in them and they in me. When they wish to speak to your keeper, Tal, I'm the medium through the wish they do it. Should I learn anything pertinent? I will share the information with you. I only wish Marquis would be more helpful in the matter. Yeah, he's not very helpful. I pray he did nothing to offend. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars run deep. Indeed, he first he now prefers to the company of the dead. Mm-hmm. Over the living. How oh, tragic. I fear such behavior ill befits the church. I received words not long ago that one of a recent visitor, a man named Tancred. Yeah, yeah, it's always Tancred, isn't it? Took offense at his conduct. Yeah, fuck Tancred. He's old. This Tancred is always late to the fight and all that. I will never for I will never forgive him for killing uh, for stealing my kill. Running in at the last moment and just stab and stealing my kill. Who knows how much credit he has taken from other people. Alright. Paco!
<laughs> nice, no damage taken. Perfect parkour. Okay, he's about us over here. <laughs> Look at this guy, see, after I do all the hard work, then he appears. This little bitch. Nim Chankrin, I share a passion with you and a mutual friend here. Two spoke with Fungus, more times than I care to count. Seems some truth to the notion of common folk speaking secrets only to those service of God. Prostration, prayer, penance, abject deeds done behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. Who better take the payers unaware? Than she who takes a compassion, the good sister or Orson herself. Right, you see, so this guy comes in and straight away suspects like the good sister. Like, let's see if he's right. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend, and you'd be wise to see this. Keep an eye on this rose. So, what evidence do you have? Hmm. What evidence do you have, huh, Tancred? Hurling accusations, baseless accusations like this? Leveling up. Oh, what is this? Arm of the Destroyer. Delivers an attack potency of 110 to all nearby target. Change form to Raptor. So powerful. Let's, let's do this. Let's, okay. Hey! So powerful. <laughs> so powerful. This oh, it's Shaman Meowth again. What the heck? Hello. So ocean, it cannot be. She is wont to travel to the Gold Bazaar of her own. It's not uncommon to see her speaking to the children. Grow we'll wary of this suspicion. There is one child in particular she is fond of. Seek out the boy. See if you cannot glean some information from him about Orson's activities. Okay, so where is this boy? Where am I supposed to go? Where is the Gold Bazaar? Map. Oh, it's all the way up north. Okay. Is this the way out? Yeah, I guess this is the way out, right? And it is a cloudy night. If the cloud hasn't cleared up, ooh, what the heck? Huh. I wonder what it is over there. I hear wolves. They come out at night, I guess. What is that? Oh, the town is under attack. Okay, I'll help out. Oh, it's dead. Okay, is it, are there are there more? Or am I just too late? Oh, I guess there are more on the other side. Yeah, there are more on the other side. Okay. Oh, my level is too high. Okay. Oh, 
Oh wait, talk to the Choco Keep first. Talk to the Choco Keep first. Choco Keep, where are you? There you are. Cool. <laughs> so cool. Relaxing music. Please help. Sister Orson went out all on her own and hasn't come back. She always reads to me right here about Far and the Order and the other side. That's something a little morbid to tell the kids, but I suppose that's your god. Alright, so we've got to save Sister Orson. Oh, what the heck is going on over there? Sister, I'm the one from the church. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, she was looking for a ring given him by his mother before he passed. Oh, what a nice. You see, she was just out helping a kid find the lost momentum from his mom. And Tangret comes along and like suspects her of like killing people and kidnapping them. What's wrong with this Tangret guy? Come on. Alright, so I'm supposed to hit hit back to Camp Dry Bones. Okay. Like, Tangret is a dick. Tangret is such a dick. Did like Sister Orson turn him down or something? No choco. Okay, there we go. The music starts. Yeah. Oh, it's raining now. It's raining in the desert. Wow. Huh. No, well, it guess it makes sense. That's why it's so cloudy, huh? Oh, 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 get off, get off. Oh my god, it's so fluffy. It's so cute and fluffy. Look, look at this. Look, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna have to kill you, but like, look at it. It's so cute. Ah, uh, you're so cute. Now die. I'm sorry. I must kill you because you are in my hunting logs. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're right. This place is called Dry Bones and it's raining. Whoever named this place lied. Into dry bones, turn into quest. Let Eisenbart know that not to listen to Tancred anymore because Tancred is always wrong and he's always late. Is 
Mr. Olsen was attacked outside the Golden Bazaar, got for Fen. I will secure a room at the inn for her should she require any rest. Searching for Mandos or the orphans, risking her well-being for doing no less? Certainly not the dastardly deeds Tancred will have us believe. Absolutely right. Ooh, new pants. Ah, looks really good, looks decent, looks decent. There we go. New pants. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at the wind physics. The wind's blowing, look at that, look, look, look at my clothes. Look at my hair. Oh, wow. Let's, let's go see the physics on other people. Look at that, look, look, look at her hair. Kurenai Mori. Oh yeah, I've seen her around just now. Look at her hair. Look at the clothes. The physics. Wow. Just remember, you can change, you can change your 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 idle animation, right? Can you change your idle animation? How how, how do I change my idle animation? Slash C pose, okay. Wait, ah. Oh, wait a second. Let's get out of the rain. Let's get out of the rain. Let's, let's check 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 out our, our poses outside the rain. All right. Is, is there anywhere with decent lighting? Uh, the lighting here is crap. All right. Ah, uh, much better. Okay. See pose. That's a very catty pose. A relaxed pose. A bit more confident. Superman. Okay. This is the default. Oh, I can adjust how many seconds any of my character goes into idle animation. How long the... So it's in settings, okay. So let's say it's in settings. Wait, where? Where do I find it? Where do I find that settings? Character configurations? Character tab, okay. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Let's see, go into two. Auto shift weapons, we're not. Like, let's, let's keep the weapons out a little longer.
Alright, I think this works. Alright, so C post works in combat animation as well. For, for idle animations when the weapons are drawn. Alright. Is that it? Okay, sit and change C pose as well. Alright, so this is. Wait, it is. Almost love squad! The heels are. Almost like the slough, slough and Asian squad, you know. The heels are a little bit off the ground. Fail, 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 fail. Seize up. All right, this is this is nice. Traditional, traditional. Relaxing. A little bit childish. All right, let's, let's let's just stick to the samurai set. Yeah. All right, that's, that works. All right. So. Wait. So I have. Do I have to? Oh, it's automatic. Okay. Cool. Cool. Dramatic. All right. Let's let's continue questing. <laughs> will make a full recovery. Thancred was looking for me, he left word, he'll be waiting for me at the- What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> he'll be waiting for me at the Amalja encampment. Uncover some evidence to the disappearance, alright. If I can find a bit, I can slash doors and see posts as well. I guess I should be able to find a bit somewhere. Does this count? No, this is th these are not bits. Maybe there are no bits in this place. Hmm. I'm sure there is. Has to be bit somewhere. Oh, is this guy dead? Oh, okay, that. Oh, all right. Now oh, there's a bit here. And there's a guy sitting there, okay. <laughs> Is there an empty room? There's a lot of hell there. I guess there are no empty rooms. So I shall just use this one. Doors. Oh no, I guess those doors are all standing. <laughs> okay, what the hell? <laughs> while standing. Mm. 
Alright, so it might be location specific. What the? F there was a giant. Someone just ran in with a giant chocobo. If I go to the FC house, can I teleport right back here? You know what, I'll just, I'll just do the quest. Like, I need, I want to get through the quest. You, you, these streams do take a long time. I do want to get as much done as possible. for me so good of me to come you heard all about the good sister Orson Eisenbart said her wounds were serious it seems my suspicion of that poor rose were misplaced yeah damn right it was false though they were his suspicions were not entirely without merit while following sister Orson a band of Amaja caught my eye I tracked them as far as this encampment yeah it's just a coincidence dude but yeah, let's uh, search for a clue. Approach in the cover of rain. Let's go. Da -da -da. Knock him out, move on to the next one. Tancred. Anything tickle my fancy? How do I reply a whisper? Someone just whispered me. These leaflets see the wealth of now at the hands of their children. It looks to be some sort of assembly to provide poor with work. The lettering, atrocious is it not? The bits of Natal seems to be somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe one among the order penned this. Is there an instant reply button?
Yeah, so like I, I was just checking the keybind, so it's Alt Shift, Alt Shift R for instant reply to someone. Just got an invite to do the MSQ together. So wait, is this the right place? And there we go. Lady Orson. My savior comes again. To what do I owe the honor? What is this? Blasphemous. These are not the teachings at all. It was not made by any true brother or sister of the order. The church was plagued by missing garments. Would someone be posing as a priest of the order? Mm -hmm. The plot thickens. Our culprit pretends to be a priest and lends credence to his deception. I suspect we have a worthy adversary on our hands. Okay, so now we are going to talk to Eisenbahn. The salesman is here again. Hello, salesman. <laughs> Troubling motion aside, I find it gratifying to move this investigation forward. Thanks once again. I'll keep my eyes and ears open now. Okay. So, nope. No good gear. So, just money. Yeah. I'm afraid I've not seen any unusual activity, not at the camp, giving me doubt. Unless we can identify a culprit soon, more innocents will fall victim. Are you tankered? Do not despair just yet, my friend, an idea just occurred to me. Our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflet, bearing for, uh, false promises to lure the poor. Let Tian and me serve like... Oh, so we're going to pretend to be poor beggars? We're going to be pretend we're going to be poor beggars and like we're going to lure the murderers out. To lay a foundation for a little ploy, we must make it widely known more vagrants that arrive at camp and desperate for coin. I want you to don old garments, Isambard, as uh, lent us, and beg around for work. Alright. Alright. So I have to put on... Weathered Shepherd Tunic and Weathered Shepherd Stock. Okay. Alright, so now I need to go back for work. This person's name is oh my god. <laughs> this NPC's name, oh my god. What the hell? Hello, Edison. No openings, no work. Can you imagine what would happen if, like, um, one of these NPCs actually has a job opening and like the entire plan to be, uh, pretend to be job seekers and vagrants just go straight to hell because you actually have to work for the guy now. Last guy. Is 
see upstairs. Yeah, it is upstairs. The camp is a buzz with talks of newly arrived vagrants. Wait, hang on a second. Why isn't Tancred also dressed as a hobo? We were supposed to do this together, weren't we, Tancred? Tancred? Why am I doing all the work, Tancred? Huh? Tancred? I'm running from Rathalos. This tankeret is too much. Making me do all the hard work. Run! Run! Tangred is upstairs. You look absolutely smashing, Tien. Positively dressed for deception. All that's left is for Cory to appear. Oh, you poor unfortunate souls. This is no way for men to live, no way at all. Who are you? What do you want? Be a nice child. I mean you no harm. I'm the priest of the Order of Nafal. Leaflet bearing the teachings of Nal, trust to them. They will surely free you from the shackles of penury. What is penury? I've never heard of that word. I'm afraid I must decline. On account of the atrocious uh, performance you have made of God of Okay, it's, yeah, it's it's this guy. It's this guy again. It's the bad guy. I'm a man of Golden Bazaar, raised there if not born. Several moons ago, Amaja raids, they would appear a sudden sandstorm and plunder and pillage. Our defenders couldn't stand against them, even if they were lived in fear. He wants to save his people. By being a merchant, he could only do it by brokering a deal. In return for sparing the Golden Bazaar, they made outrageous demands. What kind of demands? First of all, they wanted the schedule of the schedule of crystal shipments from the Nanawa mines. Now you wanted to bring them people. Mm. The coin was good. All right, yeah. So this guy is an asshole as well. All right, can I beat him up now? Can I beat him up? Yes, I want to beat him up. Alright, so he's just going to jail. Alright, so I have to go to Minfilia now. Alright, back to the waking sands. Alright, how do I get to the Waking Sands from here? Let's see, Camp Dry Bone, Central Tunnelan, Eastern Tunnelan, Western Tunnelan. Uh...
No, I don't need a ride. I'm just going to teleport. I'm just talking to my party member over here, this Ferenico. Lies! This Ferenico is not a cat! She calls herself Ferenico, but she's not a cat. Oh man. Chocobo from here to to the to the waking sands. Where's the chocobo? Where's the choco key? Uh, the choco key is over here. To Vesper Bay. Change my, change my costume, my my armor. I'm not gonna look like a beggar going into, going to meet my boss, going to meet Milphilia. But God damn it, she's not Milphilia. She's still young. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Look at your fat chocobo running up ahead. Please, you and Tancred has been getting along. Um, not really, but I guess. As Tancred said, we must have certain where the abductor are taken, and none but Amaja know. They will not willingly part of this information, and blood will be spilled, of course. Though we seek a peaceful solution to the primal problem, we need to be ready to fight, as always. Meet a goblin acquaintance, Mutamix Bubbly Pot. Well, the mix is known for a revolutionary method of enhancing equipment into Eosia. Okay. For this purpose, I'll lend you a blade. Take it to Mudamix and beat him to use it to demonstrate his craft. His camp is in Central Tunnelan, near a place called Bonfire. Okay. Let's head out. Alright, so I had to hit the central tunnel alarm. Alright, so it's near Black Rush Station. Ah, showing off your nice car, huh? Uh, 
Um, I should probably. I wonder how many times I can stack this. Nice legs, fellow cat. The fighty tools to gain power of airy self. Okay. Yes, I am a friend of Infilia. Tongue flaps reach the ears. Okay. Infilia wants. To see yes, I will see the power of materia. How does it work? Fighty tool is unstrong as eating tool. Makes good teaching show off. <laughs> the way they talk. Okay. Turn it into mighty fighting tool. Fighty tool gain the power of material. Fighty tool reborn. Alright, cool. Kind of crystal created by drawing the power out of etheric constituents and recrystallizing them. Not just only old equipment, there must be sufficient spirit bond that measures how fully measures how fully an item has been imbued in the owner's spirit. Attach a piece of material to your gear, imbue the host item with its material. That's how Master Mutamix turned the old dagger from somewhat the struggle to cut stick into a weapon worth building. Alright. Alright, should I go out of my way to make materia? Or should I like do that much later down? Yes, no za. Yes, no za. Cool. from a piece of gear and build with other Let's create a spirit bond extract materia once material is extracted spirit bond will be reduced to 1% and fixing material can be done by a disciple of the hand with proper training so basically I can't do that yet I need to level up my crafting in order to do any of this Alright, so back to the waking sands. Restaurant waiter following me around. Oh, 
Oh, all right. Hey, Maggie Watts. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Just getting through the quests, getting to know the characters, and most importantly, like keeping up with the latest fashion. <laughs> Even the questing gear looks good. Level 18 coffer through level 18 to 21. What is my weapon level at? 19. Uh, let's see. Where, where, where's my level 18 weapon coffer? Where do I, where is it? Here it is, okay. I'll use it. Pop. Hard leather sesty, okay. So, is it an, is it an upgrade? Comparison. Oh, it's the same thing as I had, what I have right now. Lame, whatever. I mean, Philia. Yeah. Alright, assist the immortal flames. Where has arrived, Tancred? Concerning our investigation? I hope I hope he uh he interrogated Angus pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna try to ambush the Amaja. Alright, let's go ambush the Amaja then. Report to the flames, Captain, and then... Report to the flames, Captain, and we shall get to fighting! Right, let's see... Yep, they are still standing there. On a mission, our mission is capture Amaja and Price from them the whereabouts of the Yadaktis. The lizard men weren't aware of their man, Angus has been exposed. So we're gonna use him and spring the trap. Alright, let's go. Go to the invisible city, learn much more of the Amaja plot if the mission succeeds. Alright, lie in wait in the hidden city that's up north.
still on my hunting logs, might as well. And wait over here. After we kill these guys. Oh, is that you? Oh, hey, Mackie. To wait. Oh, we must do this alone. All right. Proceeding ahead. Classic Yakuza villain. Uh, look at this guy with the scar and the moustache. The, the Mongolian stash. We make our move, Fun Star Maja appears, alright. This guy. The soldiers of uh, Uda look very badly armored. No, at least they wear helmets. If you have, uh, you only have one piece of armor, wear your helmets first. Wait, something's amiss. Oh, they have reinforcements too. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Ha, ha, ha. Yo, look at this guy. This guy has a traitor's face. Riddle, like, traitor is blasted all over his face. Yeah, how did he manage to escape? Of course, he had a man on the inside. Yo, look at the villain's face. Oh, Our dear Mongolian man is so pissed off. Alright, I'll invite you two into the party later. Left with the big guy. No, 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 you do not get the cast off. Oh, wow. 
I'm over here. Shit. All right. Back to the big guy. Okay. Oh, and there are more of them. Oh, everyone's down. Uh oh. Okay, even I put it down, they're all dead anyway. Wait, what's that? No, oh, I faint again. Falling unconscious seems to be a, a, a common trait of the Warrior of the Light, huh? Alright. Now that I'm here. Amaja means to give us a... Oh. So they're going to offer... Okay, so... Now I can invite you guys. Okay, where, where's what what button is friend list? Mm. Okay, here we go. Invite the party. Invite the party. All right. Uh, I think I will wait a little bit for Ferenico the. Ferenico was uh, just questing with me a bit earlier. So we just wait for Ferenico to... Um... Unless Ferenico already started, I don't know. Just... Oh, there she is. Ferenico's back. So let's invite Ferenago as well. Alright. So, Duty Finder. And Bow of Embers. So we'll be fighting Ifrit. One of my party members do not... Hmm. Wait, what, what's... What's the issue here? Oh, there we go! Is this synced or unsynced? I believe it should be synced, right? A lot of infernos happen to appear. Okay, so we are about to be sacrificed. Oh. Uh oh. Alright, we're gonna punch that in the face. Oh, they're gonna sacrifice the traders as well? Good assholes. So everyone has been mind controlled. Your soul really belongs to another, that's the only explanation. Maybe it's because I'm the only one wearing goggles. You know, because wearing goggles is um wearing goggles is a sign of a uh, Digimon Adventures protagonist. So protagonist powers. <laughs> He's 
sweeping the floor. <laughs> Punching it as hard as I can. What, what is that? I should be punching that. Another crystal, red crystal this time. So if the last one was um the meth from Breaking Bad, this one is a uh, different flavor. Let me guess. Fall, fall, uh, fall unconscious again. Oh wait, no. Not falling unconscious this time. Huh. You little bitch, you're always late. What the fuck? Show off now, but I just killed Ifrit, so fuck you, Tancred. See, the Bloodstone wasted no time in extracting the captives. No less, I expect, from the Flame General's handpicked man. Those two, it's fair to share their hardships has only just begun. They have much to answer for. I feel I owe you an apology, Tian. Had I known this mission would prove so dangerous, I would never let you face it alone. You've been given a veritable baptism of fire. Let's continue this conversation in more agreeable grounds. Okay. Yeah, no, this guy is always late. He appears at the last minute. He doesn't do any work. And then he just shows up, throws a knife and makes himself look cool for the, for the cameras. Like, 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 fuck you, Tancred. Fuck you. So that was the mighty Ifri. Hello. Did no one notice this guy sitting on top of the hill? What a disappointment he was. The readings were nowhere near what I had anticipated. Even taking Uda's interference into account. You should know better than to rely on 5-year-old data left by the 7th Legion. 
Nor can we expect any form of support from the motherland, given the, uh, given the troubles at court. We don't have ourselves to rely on. Ever the pessimist, my dear Livia. Promise me you'll never change. You've wasted enough time here. The middle of yours is too old to give any reading worth a damn. Not that it was all a damn to... Excuse me. Not that it was all worth a damn to read. But I take your point. I suppose we uh, must content ourselves with the knowledge that we have achieved our primary objective. Yet I find myself troubled by the adventurous unexpected show of strength. Could such a foe prove a hindrance to our plans? Perhaps, but that's a consideration for another time. You've been given a task, that's your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. Fail to do as my lord commands. And I'll spare him the trouble of punishing you. What a bitch! With allies like that, beware a woman in love. I shall need be beyond on my best behavior. Not looking at his hairstyle and like that smug look on his face. Best behavior isn't on the cards right now. Dum, dum, da, da. So there's no loot from Ifrit. Just kill the Primal and the Primal doesn't give us loot. Amazing. There you are, Tian. Come rest a while, you have no better opportunity. After witnessing the gods' ignominious defeat, Amaji will be less inclined to risk our wrath. At he was in the process of apologizing, blah blah blah. Once a man is tempered, they can't be changed back. So basically, everyone who got burnt by the blue flames was screwed. Huh. If Lydia is proud, we are not reckoning when she heard of your deeds. The way I claim to contribute something. You contributed nothing, dude! You contributed nothing! Minfilia will hear that in my report. You contributed nothing! Alright, teleporting back to... Back to the Waking Sands. So I can hop onto your motorbike? How do I hop into your motorbike? Oh, oh, into your car. So how do I get onto your car? Right pillion. On seat one. Alright, let's go. Oh, he even has his own music. car Oh my god the car flies Okay, thank you. Hello, Tataru. Bad. 
っただろう OK All right, all right. I'm going to start writing a report to Minfilia to tell her how useless Tancred has been. Tancred told us the news upon his arrival. He's presently in the Soda, giving a full report. No, no, do not accept his report. Accept my report. I am going to report him. This guy does jack shit. My late arrival nearly cost Tian his life. Damn straight. Damn straight. He wasn't there when they, they took me a prisoner. He wasn't there when they served me to Ifri. That's right, that's right. You are useless. By some miracle, he survived. That does not excuse the fact that he should never have gone to such danger alone. He failed him utterly. Glad you're self aware. Also, please, please get proper shoes. You don't wear that into combat. No, Minfilia, no, no. Fire him. Dock his pay. Tian, it's so good to see you again. Impeccable timing. I'm not your friend. <laughs> I'm not your friend, Tancred. I just finished regaling Minfilia with your heroic exploits. Yeah, you better make me look good. You better make me look good. Tancred told me everything. You have done well to return to us. The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet a part of me believes that I, caught, I had no cause to fear. And now we can be put, paid to our long investigation. As we suspect, Amalja took both robbery and abduction with the aim of summoning the primal Ifrit. Nor is this tale limited to Uda. Similar incidents have been rife in both Limsa, Lominsa, and Gridania of late. I dare say you have been curious to how these crimes are linked to the primals. Permit me to explain. Having manifested in the physical realm, primals must consume Aether if they are to, ma if they are to maintain their presence here. And the stronger they become, the more Aether they require. Now Aether exists throughout creation. It flows through all life and permeates the very air we breathe, like the Force. Alas, this alone will not suffice to sustain the very likes of Ifrit. Nay, he and his kind require a more concentrated source of Aether. Crystals. So basically, they're all math heads. Good to know. Leave us to understand why they are. To understand this, you must first understand how primals are born. When all is well in the world, primals possess no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of Aether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out to their gods, deliverance of suffering. These cries are a beacon towards the primal, towards which a primal's essence is irresistibly drawn. It is this coming together, this etheric coalescence, which grants the, which grants the being's physical form. Once born, the primal gains strength from his followers' worship. The more numerous and fervent they are, the more powerful the god becomes. But the primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence as their adherents freely give. Freely give. And in order to gain more power, they do not scruple to create followers. They do this by tempering mortals, a process which you were subjected. Even as Ifrit took your comrades in his thrall, you alone remain unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Echo. We know not why of it, but those blessed with the Echo are immune to primal influence. It is as though a greater power protects us. Hello 2009. When you first came to us, I told you the Echo would be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. I see, I trust you now begin to see why. It's because we eat so much meth, no, we smoke so much weed that meth doesn't affect us anymore. That's exactly what's happening. So everyone in the Science of the Seven Dawn are crack, are, 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 are weed smokers. And they smoke so much weed that when Crystal Crack comes and like burns their crack fire over us, we are not affected by it. Whether or not she intends or not, Minfilia neglected to tell you something. And something is something best heard from one of us. It concerns the tempted abductees that were rescued. I'm sorry, report. All are put to death. The flames whom you were imprisoned with included. Needless to say, the information must not be made known to the public. RIP. Well, I'm so sorry, macho Mongolian man. You will be remembered. 
macho Mongolian man. I must offer my apologies to the Flame General for the losses his people suffered. Until next time. Yeah, you better kowtow to the guy, man. It's all your fault. You were not there. You didn't help. Gods forgive me, how many more lives? Luis would never have allowed this to happen. Damn straight he wouldn't have allowed this to happen. You have to do better, you have to be stronger. Yes. Yes. Now F off. F off and do something about it. Budget Squall. <laughs> I guess he is Budget Squall. Infilia wears... Okay, what's up, Minfilia? What's next? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Confirming tank red. The signs will benefit from my aid. Yes, yes, yes. Fame. Okay. Fame comes at a price. What price? We have guests here. Other, I have guests. Okay. Oh look, the three amigos. Ah, Lady Minfilia. Okay, sweet talker. Okay, yes, yes, they have welcomed me into their midst. Ah, uh, this guy goes straight to the point. I'm here on the behalf of the Maelstrom, Grand Company of Limsa Luminsa, to offer hero safe place within our ranks. So he cuts the bullshit and goes straight to the point. Your exploits have garnered you the attention of the grand companies of Eorzea. Yeah. Each organization have Ifrit Spain for its own. In the end, all three have sent officers to court me. Okay. I'll f I find myself wondering how words of Tian's deed spread so quickly that the immortal flame should know of his triumph is to be expected. But what of the other grand companies? Tataru, what did you do? My reputation precedes me, Master Ustasem. This, no ordinary man who can face a primal and emerge the victor. The order of the twin adder needs a valiant man to join blah 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 blah. Okay, okay. A pleasure to finally meet me, Master Ustasem. My comrade speaks of you in most glowing terms. Why, even before you aided us against the Amaja and the dread primal, yours was a really respected name in Uda. Our people know you and love you as well. You're a man a man of your talents belong with the immortal flames. Okay. The Admiral was not exaggerating when he said you had the look of a hero. Who often she does speak of you, friend. It's only natural we want you for the maelstrom. Join your strength with two hours. And together let us see the grand vessel of Limsan Lumen of the shores of glory. Hmm. Yes, I have met the true salespeople. But you dress like one. Okay. Okay. I'm given to understand the leader of each grand company will deliver an address. Hearing this address ought to help you make an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? A fine suggestion. You're as wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Very well, let Tian... You see, the others are sweet-talking and then this Maelstrom guy is like going straight to the point. I like this guy. They're a proper salesperson. The others just like... brown nose, Minfilia all the way. Tataru? Tataru? This is all your fault, is it not? I know full well the adventurers by their nature are liberty loving breed and not best suited for the disciplines of military service. But everyone should serve their military service, let's be honest. Okay. I will have you carry this link pole with you at all time. It will allow us to stay in touch regardless of location. Yeah, why didn't you give me that the first time? Why didn't you give me that the first time? 
Oh my god. What a glorious leader she is. Alright, I like... So I should go out to speak with Tataru. Oh, they have changed position. Where, where is Ishtola? Ishtola is in here. She's talking with Uri and Jay. Iron Vault and Oli are over here. Brent is over here now. Okay, what's up, Brent? On to the next customer. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Tancred. Are you guilty yet? Are you guilty yet? You put us all to shame with your recent performance. If I am to keep up, I dare say I need bigger knives. You don't need bigger knives, you need bigger balls. Alright. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, were you eating something? I'm sorry. Yes, Shakespeare? Yes, blah, blah. I have no idea what you just said. Speaking of riddles. Yes, you stole long. I'm sparing you my praise. So know that you have truly impressed me. That may be. It's fortunate Tancred arrived when he did. He did nothing! What did Tancred tell you? What did Tancred tell you, Ishtola? What did Tancred tell you? He lied. He did jack shit. He killed one Amaja with a flippy flippy knife trick. And that's all he did. Alright, alright, I'm heading out. Alright, Tatar. Hello, Mio Cat. I'm sorry about all the attention you're getting, Tien. I may have sung your praises a little too loudly and too, and often and to to feel too many people. Alright, so you're a good marketing person. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Alright, so I have to head to all three cities again. So I'll be heading to Vidania, then Buddha, and then to Lim Salominsa. So, off to the amphitheater. Alright, you can't mount up in the city. <laughs> so, we have to run. Oh, destination, this one. I lost my son to the calamity. The three seed seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body.
Our forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood, fearful of the green wrath. They hid themselves in the dark recesses of the earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the elementals and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gradania was born some five centuries ago. Working hand in hand, the Hure and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization. So nourished by the waters of unity and blessed by the light of the matron, Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Oh, it's the two kids from the start of the game. Do you see the Gridanian standard? There, hanging behind the elder seed seer. The entwined serpents represent the unity between Hure and Elizin. An elegant symbol, do you not agree? In accordance with the will of the elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. Though we Gridanians have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. When the Garlean Empire brought its war of conquest to Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. No, I'm there explains why you're so short. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day. For soon came the Calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed. Each waking hour, a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. To compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease and prey upon the vulnerable. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could a walk the high bloody roads itself. without fear. On this day, five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? Mm -hmm. The destruction wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. So, 
we are to unite to fight the garlic. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Alright, so let's bring harmony to the garlic by adding it to pasta. We make ugly oleo and then we will be happy. Let them be honored not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. Wait, I forgot. Like, I think in the last episode I was saying that the garlics are a lie, they are actually onions. I bid you join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder Standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds, that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and sanctity. Nom, 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 nom. We must think of the children! We must Ooh, think of the done. children! It's up to us to protect the forest. All the elementals! We must think of the children! What the fuck was that? <laughs> I mean like Is it me or all the siege stages like Short And tiny I'm pretty sure these people don't really care about true run If you'll permit me Alfie no Alfie no and my sister, Alize, at your service. Elfinor and Alize, okay. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. His voice and his voice and face doesn't match. Well, I s well, I say, but looks like a freaking kid. <laughs> Gridanians are unfortunate enough to have to contend with two beast tribes. If so, are questionably more troublesome. Being a naturally warlike disposition, they won't summon their bloodthirsty primal Garuda. The silks, on by contrast, are more peaceful in nature, being mischievous rather than malevolent, and have been long have long been on friendly terms with the Gridanians. Until recently at least. Alas, they have grown aloof. A change observed roughly at the time they summoned the primal Ramo. The Gridanians have no love for war, but they consider open conflict as a last resort. Though they clash with the Ixo ever more regularly, you may be assured that they do so in self-defense. As for the Sylph, they are yet bound by a peace treaty. The one wonders how long it will take before it's broken. The Twelve Wood are... The Trollfoot was grievously wounded during the Calamity, leaving Gridania vulnerable to attack. The people are hopeful that restoring the wood, and thereby the power of the elementals, will put an end to their woes, but how long would that take? Centuries, I wonder, I wager. So what are these elementals? Meanwhile, the Ixal continue their incursions, spurred on by Garuda and her insatiable destroy, uh, appetite for destruction. Whether the Gridanians like it or not, sooner or later it will come to all-out war, and when it does, the Order of the Twin Adder will need all the help it can master. How valuable might the aid of a capable adventurer like yourself? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone wants me because I am the hero, yeah! Hero. And there they go, walking off into the rain. Alright, next step, Uda.
promenade. Royal promenade. Oh, okay, I need to teleport there. Royal promenade. Internet. I assume it's at a chamber of food. Oh, look at the twins. <laughs> Behold, tis the Sultana Nanamo herself! And Roban as well! Hark you, souls of flame, drawn to the bosom of the desert, where the fire burns brightest and shall rage forevermore! Mmm, very Hurrah! grandiose. Very Roban! grandiose. Where seems antiquity, under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul dynasty, we have wrought sand into gold, whereby the grace and glory of Naldar have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered. I speak of Uldar! Mm. Inspirational general. Mm. There, at the flame general's back, flies the Grand Company's standard. Note the sigil. The golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. Great and many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, on the killing fields of Cartano, none spent more in blood and gold than we. Thus was the Seventh Imperial Legion laid low. So <laughs> How soon history forgets. Yet many left our gates never to return. Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters that they might know happiness in the great beyond as Thor's honored guests. If the fates were fair, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, but five years into this seventh umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice which granted us our strength is all but dead. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden and enthralled. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Where is the just steel of the righteous? I ask you, is this the great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save? You who call this living, dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. Our enemies surround us. The savage hordes of the immortal. Oh no, he sounds nothing like Illidan. Our roads, strangling the lifeline. Illidan has a little bit more of a. <laughs> this guy's more of a. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Garleans make mock of our borders and despoil our land of its natural wealth. We stand on a precipice, Aww. yet we do not act. The little Sultana Bun said. Whether trader or soldier, monetarist or royalist, all must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Victory and fortune walk hand in hand. Ye who seek glory and wealth, look not to what little you can snatch from your neighbor, but to the boundless wealth of the world beyond. He sounds like some kind of a Viking now leader. Now is the time to unite. Now is the time to ride forth. In the name of the Sultana, I beseech you. Lie not your own coffers, but those of the immortal flames. Seek not to prosper from Ulda, but to restore her to prosperity! Think not of what your nation can do for you, but think of what you can do for your nation. Alright, thank you, John F. Kennedy. As the realm prospers, so shall Ulda. As Ulda prospers, so shall her people. Ya for Ulda! Together we are one. That was a very unenthusiastic together we are one. Your grace. Raoban? Raoban? 
我的 boss 老板。老板 is the epic mount. People of Ulda, I, Nanamo, seventeenth in the line of all, address you. Much has been made of the wealth of Ulda. Yet those who measure that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. For the true wealth of Ulda lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. Beloved subjects. I bid you raise aloft the torch of Ulda, that her flames might serve as a beacon for all Eorzea to see. Long live Nanamo! Glory to the Sultana! Glory to the Sultana! And fearless into the inferno, <laughs> for we are by fire reborn. By fire reborn. <laughs> Uh, the voice acting like of the main characters compared to the Calafair in the background is so different. Oh, the Sultana! <laughs> oh, the Sultana! <laughs> For Sylph! The time is now! I believe in me! you again. <laughs> <laughs> Refugees continue to arrive in droves. Uda <laughs> has no policy on how to deal with them. <laughs> After all, not even a sultana's coffin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to be paid to voice act like that. That would be great. <laughs> uh, every time the Uda sends their forces to smite the primal. And though they invariably succeed, each victory is bought with blood. A war of attrition which they cannot well sustain. So one wonders that the immortal flames are eager to recruit more members. <laughs> it's such a desperate hour. Adventure like your, your experience will be your most welcome addition to your ranks. <laughs> For your sake, I hope the flame general's words struck a chord with you. <laughs> All right. For the Sultana. <laughs> All right, off the limb Salomon sir. Uh, the Sultana looks like a little Xiao Long Bao. She looks, she looks so adorably edible. All right. Guardians are another matter altogether. So much for our alliance. It's sunk beyond the seabed. Mm, the moment she walks in, everyone keeps quiet. Strong aura. Brothers and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty crimson standard, and tell me your hearts do not swell with pride.
700 summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. In that time, guided by the mother of oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. Did you look as the Admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. Yar. The crimson field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the black longship represents a pirate vessel. When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. All answered the call. From the Knights of the Barracuda to Hilthier's bloody executioners. And together we met our would be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. I swear to you, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea. An actual memorial that goes straight to the point of remembering the fallen. Salute. Freedom. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. Much as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. It has been five long years since the calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still the wounds of the calamity fester and weep. But when I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. The Sahagin creep ashore seeking blood for their accursed god. Those fishbuck the bastards. The Sahagin have risen? While the mines of Ogomoro spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Galian Empire. Even now the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. We are well nigh surrounded. Yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds below deck? There is but one course left to us, one bearing that will bring us victory over the beast hordes and the Empire both and see this ship safe to port. We must mend the rift the Calamity has reopened twixt Pirate and Maelstrom, and stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming Tempest. Mark ye well, a crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea, Gather beneath the undying Crimson Standard and pledge me your strength, your skill, your wisdom. And with the guidance of the Navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. Long live the Admiral! Admiral Melvin! Gather the lads! Ha oh, ha, where's me Cutlass? Where's me Cutlass? Let's go! I'll ye to the Seven Hells, Admiral! Fancy meeting you again. Hey, bitch, I think you're following me. Don't look at me like that, what the hell? Uh, 
as the Admiral mentioned in her address, Lim Sao Minsa is plagued by two beast tribes. The first are the fish-like Sahalahin, worshippers of the primal Leviathan. The second are the Kobolds, who dwell beneath the earth and take the primal Titan for their god. As the beast tribe's presence weren't troublesome enough, Galeons have also chosen to erect a fortress in the Lominson's backyard. It is to say not of internal strife. As a nation of pirates, there is no end to blood feuds between various factions. And while they fight among themselves, the Galeons wet their blade and watch. If the Lominsons are to have any hope of withstanding the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. Differences must be set aside, and the primal threat dealt with once and for all. To this end, I expect they would soon take decisive action against the Beast Tribes. Mark my words, the Maelstrom Standard will be drenched in deeper shade of crimson ere long. <coughs> Excuse me. That and a capable adventurer like yourself would be a valuable addition to their crew. Mm -hmm, of course. The voice acting for Limsa Lominsa is better. It's way better than what I heard over in uh Over in Uda <laughs> For the Sasana <laughs> Here this is Minfilia, you're well I hope. Would I be correct in thinking that the final remembrance service has now concluded? A moment ago you said? What a coincidence. Jesting aside, I guess I trust you remember our guests from Grand Companies. Delighted though we are to keep them here at the waking sense, it would not do it would not do to keep them in suspense any longer than necessary. In short, hurry back. Alright. I I I I think I like um Mer Merwhip Merwhip the most. Alright, let's uh hit back. Stop what? What the heck is this? Oh my god. This is this is fancy. Thing. It looks like a giant fish. Or even has like this metal music in the background. Alright. Some people let fame swell to the their heads, but I believe yours will remain in proportion and firmly attached to your body. Yeah, it better if it remain attached to my body. All right, let's talk to Minfilia. Our grand company. Oh, 
what's this? What's happening over here? <sighs> the gods only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. Hm. The wheels of change are in motion regardless. Brother, are you certain this course is best? Whatever do you mean, dear sister? The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard waving rallies. It's true. As though the calamity and seventh umbral era warranted scarcely a mention. Well, of course they were standard waving rallies. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the warriors of light? None. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the Calamity? No, dear Alizé, they haven't forgotten these details. They have elected to omit them. Deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact, that the realm still bleeds. Needless to say, the Beast Tribes and their primals do little to alleviate the pain. So. The task of salving Eorzea's wounds falls to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, with a little help from our friends, the Grand Companies. Remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. Our grandfather would never entrust the fate of the realm to despots who rewrite history to their convenience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like her conviction. There must be another way to cure what ails this world, and I need to find it. You are most welcome to try. Our paths may differ, but our destination is the same. In time, I dare say, we will see eye to eye. This little kid is smug as heck, man. I should hope so. Alphanor is so my smug. Lady, we are to escort you! He Hope might. does not come into it. We share the burden of this fate, dear sister. The salve will serve not only to close up our present wounds, but prevent old ones from opening anew. I, I think he's worse than Tancred. I'm pretty sure he's worse than Tancred. So smug, what a dick. Alright, let's go with Storm. They cut the most bullshit, they go straight to the point. And they have the best voice acting so far. Hello guys Chocobo's in the way. What the heck is that? Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> oh, I need to collect all those emotes. Oh. Reborn Red. What is 
this? Okay. Quora! <laughs> Cracker. It's so big! <laughs> it isn't even rendered properly. How many of these do you have? <laughs> Fireworks and champagne. Command is probably upstairs. At the F castle. Alright, Maelstrom Command is in this castle castle island thing over here. with horns and trumpets. What business have you at Maelstrom Command? My name is Tien Ustasem. I believe you're expecting me? Ah yes, recruitment officers and both of you coming. Before I accept your oath, you must be aware of several... Sir! What is it, Private? This better be important. Sir, we have received a report from Lookout in Lower Lanosia. Imperial forces have fired upon the, uh, hi a high wind skyway airship. The vessel is a bad way, sir. It appears to be banking for emergency landing in the Cedarwood. Cedarwood, we have no available troops in the area. Bulk of our infantry is bogged down at the coast, skirmishing with the fishbacks. Ustasem, this is highly irregular. I fear your first beauty, your first duty in service to the Maelstrom must be unofficial. Our men in Lower Nanosia is correct. The airship comes down in the territory crawling with Imperial Scouts. If there are any survivors, we must reach them before the Guardians do. Make haste to Saddlewood. Locate the airship. If any of its occupants are alive, make sure they come to no further harm. We'll see about swearing you in upon your return. Alright, let's go, let's go! So the Saddlewood, where is the Saddlewood? Lower Nanosia, okay. There's someone stuck in the sign. Can I hide inside? So, oh, I can! Yay! Lower 
no nos hier. Po, 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 po. Po, 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 po. Alright, let's... Good night, Sarah, the rest spot. Chocobos look so strange when they're flying. Almost there. Look at the wild dodos. They're so fat. They're so fat. So fluffy. So fat. Fat chocobo. So fat. So cute. So fat. Oh my god, it's flying with those little wings. <laughs> That is physically impossible! Physics doesn't exist in this world. Oh right, I forgot to invite Drag you into the party. Alright. Alright, and I must do this alone. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting out. It's one of those airships. <laughs> Dodo. And Adventure, what are you doing out here? Let's find some cover first. You were just squatting in the middle of the field, like, how do you expect not to be found? If I can find you so easily, I'm pretty sure the Empire will find you eventually. Definitely low stats. Alright, good night, Mackie. Maelstrom Command sent me, how do I know I'm not an Imperial spy? So now you ask if I'm an Imperial spy. I'm obviously not an Imperial Spy. If I were, I would have like called you out long ago. You're the Garlon Ironwork Engineer, yes? Uh, we'll be here to rescue you. Cool. Good work reaching our friend here before the Imperials. Alright, good night. I'll probably be done pretty soonish after I'm done with this part of the story. I've never seen a craft of this design. It must be Garland's work. Is there no end to this man's treachery? The secrets of Magitech belongs in Imperial hands. They are not to be squandered on Aeos and Savages. Oh, would you look at that? We're taking this craft back to the fortress, dismantle it if you must. And bring the engineer. Someone must pay for Garland's crimes. Someone 
scouting party from Castrum Ossinens. Where you have to help him? That fool of a Lalafell was hiding inside the tiny Bronco. The tiny Bronco? Isn't that the new design people have been whispering about? It's the first airship we built since the Calamity. First since Master Garlon. Well, since he went missing. After years of work, she was finally ready for her first test flight. And she was soaring. She really was, till those bastards blasted her out of the sky. Alright, pay attention. We're gonna hit this Imperials hard and fast. If they want a souvenir from Eosia, they can have a knife in their gut. Well, I like this guy's pers I like this guy's attitude. Unfortunately, I have no knives. I'm just gonna punch them. All right, let's go. Let's go, boys. Oh, I'm I'm already color coordinated with these guys. All right, let's go. First things first. Oh, there's a mage over there. Running away. Oh, it's reposition. It's almost down. Got him. Save your little ass. That was a close one. Too damn close. How does she look anyway? Auxiliary propeller is a dead loss, but we can bring enough trust from the main propeller to get us airborne. A few minor modifications, they will be able to fly the tiny Bronco home. We we'll stand watch until the ship is ready to take off. The Imperials will come looking for their scouts eventually, but I doubt they will get here for a good while yet. Ustasam, you are free to return to Maelstrom Command. Complete your induction. Ordinarily, I'll ask you to stay, but I, th I think we'd all feel better knowing an adventure of your ability is safely sworn in and ready for the next mission. Alright. I just want to say sorry for calling you an Imperial Spy. Got that one wrong, didn't I? Yes, you did. Seriously, though. If it hadn't been for you and Maelstrom Lerts over there, we'd be chained up in the dungeon by now. That is also true. Yeah. 
Yep. Accept your gratitude. Alright. Now to head back to Maelstrom Command. I think I should probably set my home point over here. Alright. Now to Maelstrom Command. The aft, ca the aft castle. Alright. Of course the stories about me are true. Okay, so let's go for it. let's get the induction. Ah, that's nice. They gave me some dice to, to color coordinate with the gang. Let's start a fresh, shall we? You're welcome here, Thien. That such a well-respected adventurer who choose to join our ranks is most heartening. Before you swear your allegiance to us, however, it's only right to tell you what it is you'll be joining. A grand company is simply more than a collection of soldiers. It is an all-encompassing organization which draws upon the resource of an entire city-state to form a united military force capable of standing united against the nation's deadliest enemies. We of the Maelstrom are charged with meeting threats posed by Primos, the Galleon Empire, and solving the many problems caused by the Calamity. Every man and woman who serves under our colours have a role to play in keeping the great warship that is Limsa Luminsa afloat. And on whatever head, on whatever heading Chief Admiral Merwip Blofiswin sees fit to set. As part of this Grand Company's uh, Grand Vessel's crew, you'll be expected to take your turn at the oars, for the wind do not look favorable lad, and the strength of arm may be all that sea are safe to port. If I've lost you with talk of ship and all, let me put it another way. A maelstrom soldier labors till his last breath, fights till his last drop of blood. We will give our all in service to this nation, and no less is expected of you. Ustasem, it is customary for new recruits to swear an oath of their own choosing upon entering the maelstrom's ranks. Is there aught you'd like to say? No love for grandiose proclamations, eh? Ha, huh, silent resolve is not uncommon among our brothers and sisters of the sea. Of the sea. Tian Usasam, I hereby grant you the rank of Private Third Class. You are now officially a soldier of the Maelstrom. Welcome aboard, Private. May, li may you serve Limsa Luminsa well. Till the sea swallows all. Can you hear me, Tian? This is Minfilia. An officer of the Maelstrom contacted me with news of your enlistment. I congratulations, Private Ustasem. There is no doubt you are eager to make the acquaintance of our new comrades. I'll ask you to pay a visit to your old ones first. Remember, though now you are a man of storm, you are no less a scion. Pray return to the waking sands at your earliest convenience. There are some friends here whom I would like you to meet. We will be waiting. The rest of the wicked, eh? Before you make yourself scarce, I recommend having a word with Commander Ricky. It might be worth your while. Oh, so this is Commander Riki. She's cute.
Grand Companies. Okay. Supply and provisioning missions. Grand Company are in constant need of supplies and provisions. Okay. I'm going to head to the inn. Where's the inn here? Keeps over here. All right, guess about done. Okay, Let's see. So supposedly I have a, or oh, I should get a retainer first thing, right? When I come back. Oh well. Well. It's been a good fun. Been playing for quite a while now. Time to rest. Look forward to coming back tomorrow and continuing the campaign. Da 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 dum 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 da dum.